How's it going Star Seekers? My name's Got Cake, and in this review we're going to be taking a look at Masky. Now, how do I describe this one? Well, it's basically an arcade score chaser where you dance from side to side linking up with more and more masked individuals whilst trying to keep your whole line balanced and battling against various screen effects that try the hardest to literally trip you up. So as we hit the main menu we have a couple of selections. Taking a look first at the options menu we can see we have some basic audio settings but more importantly an accelerometer setting. Now the game can be played using both the analog stick or the accelerometer and I suggest testing out both to see which you prefer. The analog stick is more sensitive and allows for quick changes in direction while the accelerometer allows you to adjust your balance by tiny amounts but it's all down to personal preference. Jumping into the controls guide it basically tells us that we can use either of the previously mentioned control schemes and that we can also use pro controllers and single joy cons. So if we head into our first game we can see that there are 12 levels and that we only currently have access to the first one. Jumping into this level we can get a feel for the game. Now Maskey's gameplay is very simple. At the top of the screen you have a balance meter with a marker on it. If we move the marker off centre to the left we'll move left and moving it to the right will make us move right. The further away from the centre balance we are, the faster we'll move, and moving beyond the red zone will tip you over ending your run. Now people will begin to appear to the left and to the right of you, and the aim of the game is to move to them and touch them whilst maintaining your balance. Each time you do, they'll link up to you and join your dance. Now it's important to alternate sides when linking up, as the more people you have on one side of you, the more your balance will be pulled in that direction. Having too many people on one side will make it impossible to bring your balance back the other way and you'll eventually topple over. Now every so often a person will appear with a red arrow above its head. These are people with special masks which will cause random effects to occur, all but one of which are designed to put you off your stride. These effects range from shaking your screen, tilting it to one side, or turning it completely upside down, to speeding up your movement, or inverting the screen's colours in an attempt to blind you. Adding an additional mask to your dance will stop the effect. Now every 9 masks that you collect, a door will appear and you can gather 10 to give you 2 doors to choose from. Entering one of these doors will change the surrounding scenery and clear some of the people from your line, relieving some strain on your balance and allowing you to gather more masks. And so this is the entirety of Masky's gameplay mechanics. As I said before, very simple. Just keep your balance, gather masks, and try to maintain your composure as the tempo of the music increases and special masks do the dirty work on your screen. Once you fall, your score for that run will be displayed alongside your best score and you'll gain some experience which goes towards unlocking new levels. Now from what I can discern, each level has a different music track and lets you play as a different character wearing a different mask. They do have exclamation marks below them, but I'm not too sure what it means, so it's all down to your own preference. The game also features local multiplayer for up to 4 players and because I have no friends, here's a preview of me playing alone with 2 Joy-Cons and a Pro Controller. Lastly, there's also an online leaderboard so you can check your score against other players and if you're wondering, I'm ranked 2nd right now with only that no life of Mark standing in my way of world domination. It's only a matter of time, Mark. So what can I say about my gameplay experience with Maskey? Well to be honest, when I first started playing it, I didn't expect to enjoy it as much as I actually did. Its gameplay and music have a kind of hypnotic quality to them, and after a while you just sort of find yourself in a trance as you intensely focus on keeping that balance marker at just the right angle. When you get into your 50s, it's like your subconscious has taken over and your fingers seem to move by themselves. But then out of nowhere, your screen gets flipped and your whole world comes tumbling down. After that, you can't help but give it another go. The game is damn addictive, and the most surprising thing that I found out was that it's actually ported from mobile and was made in only two days as a submission to Games Jam. I also liked its minimalistic art style and the distinct visuals of each room. So now we come to rating the game. Now I rate games between 1 and 5 stars, with a shovelware stamp of approval reserved for the worst games on the eShop. This rating is based on my own personal opinion on what a game has to offer in terms of gameplay and value for money to potential buyers. And for a rating I'd give Maskey 2 out of 5 stars. There's not an awful lot when it comes to content, but it's addictive, hypnotic, artsy and I really enjoyed it. Anyone that enjoys arcade score chasers or games that are easy to pick up and play but hard to master should enjoy Masky. It's also a great little time filler game, apart from when you're on a 100 mask streak, but your 10 minute lunch break is over. You can get the game on the UK Switch eStore, currently with a 10% discount, for £4.4p, or from the US eStore for $4.99. Alternatively, the game is also available for free on the Google and Apple App Stores, but I encourage you to support the developers and buy it on Switch where it feels right at home. 
And that's it for this review of Masky. Drop it a like if you enjoyed it and comment down below with your thoughts. And while you're at it, why not subscribe to the channel to be notified of future reviews. For now though, I just want to thank you all once again for watching. And until next time, game on.